If you're struggling to make money in Tarkov because you keep on dying, you should use your scav. And today, I'm going to show you how to make millions on your scav runs. Okay. So, we're going to do the same loot run that we do on our PMC, but we skip most of Concordia because we don't have the keys. There's one room you can jump into, which we're going to do, and there's another room up there that we can loot that has some tech items. I'm gonna come in here and on the floor, doesn't look like anything spawned there, but right here, tech items spawn. I found military cables there. Um, I haven't found any like graphics cards or anything high tier, but motors, PSUs, cables, Called, sorry, that sort of stuff. All right, to get in here, you want to shoot these windows. Let's see what's here and jump across. If I can hit it, I made a short on this tip and it got a lot of good feedback. So I'm just going to show you the whole run that I do to make it safe money on my scout. As you can see, got some stims here. Some drill, pro kill. And here are some stems as well. Now we're going to go to check to loot that area. Now we're going to avoid one part to make this run a whole lot safer, and that's the new relaxation um, the meeting room. A lot of the PvP goes on at that corner, so we're just going to skip it and just make this run a whole lot safer and lose only a couple hundred thousand rubles. What makes this run no risk is the fact that you're doing it on your scav. I wouldn't say it's common to die on this run as a scav, but you're likely to see someone. Whether it's another scav or a PMC is completely chance based. Alright, now we are in Chicania. Just wanna loot this as normal, but we're gonna skip the top floor. Oh wow. See so yes, there's one of the big items we can get. Bitcoin, what's that? 550k right now? Chain spawn. This computer. Hello. As you can see, there's a bronze lion. It's another really big item that we can get in this run. Now we can loot the spawn in the first iron gate room because that isn't locked but personally i skip it just to save us the run some moonshine spawns there as well so instead i'm going to come to this window and mantle through her push it down now we're going to head over to the post office for the last spot that we're going to loot in this run. Now realistically, if I wasn't showing you guys how this loot run works, I'd probably leave now just because I have about a million on me. Now because I'm so early in the road, I'm a bit afraid there's the PMC around here. This looks fluid, but in this oven, you can spawn valuables. In this book, 
in this drawer and on top of that chair. Now I have gone over this loot run before for PMCs. But I thought I'd make a new video just to show that it's perfectly possible on scavs. And it's probably a very good way to make secondary money. I use it tons when my scav comes up. Just because it's so free. And there's no risk because you have nothing to lose. Right, another spawn is over here. Inside that box. And the last room you want to check is in here. As you can see, all in here spawns hardware items. Stuff like that. Now I'm going to run to extract. Now this run is purely for making money and if you're really just in it for the money I'd recommend avoiding the fights that you find and going as fast as you can. Time helps a lot with these scav runs. The faster you are the more money you make in an hour. Just before we leave guys, I'll show you a new area that's added in point 14. Uh, Hyperat has found a Bitcoin here. Very good attachments. And I found a pre-built AKS-74U here as well, also. So it's definitely worth checking. Especially if you're taking sewer as an extract or uh, entrance to catacombs. Yeah, for reference, there's the train for the entrance to catacombs. You just want to come in this door. Check on this table for attachment and ammo spawns, as you can see. Over here, check for attachment spawns again. Look, there's a nice suppressor there. I'll take that. Rail. And for your final spawn, you want to check in this little bowl there. There's also a toolbox and hardware spawns over here on the floor. As you can see, there's a wrench there. I'll just take that. Quest. Alright guys, that's it for this run. Make sure to stick around for the bonus tip at the end of the video. Because that can make you a bunch of money also. If you do want to learn how to do this a bit easier. Uh, and to understand it more. Make sure to check out the streets loot guide that I made a while ago. That goes into it a lot more in depth. And shows you around the map a lot better. This is based off if you already know the run. And you just want to do it as a scav instead of a PMC. Okay, this is all the loot we got. With a bigger backpack, you can get so much more. And there's more places that you can go that I'll cover in the next Scavron. Let's see what we, uh, how much we got from that Scavron alone. Okay, if we see how much we made. So that is just from bartering it. We've got 800k from that run. That's what? Seven, seven minutes, somewhere around there. Obviously, we got lucky with the Bitcoin, but it's not uncommon to find them. Okay. We are in the next scav run. We spawn next to the cinema. Gonna try go show you the trick that you can do over at the factory marking key so let's get over there real quick Alright, 
what we got ash 12 some 62 mdr and that's well So we have a This one is the difficult part. Never get it first try. There we go. Now we will go to the rest of the loot run. See if we can get any more loot. I think that's a scarf. Yo, yo, I'm a scarf, I'm a scarf, I'm a scarf. As a player. No. Thank you for watching, guys. I do want to apologize for me and maybe not sounding energetic. I'm recording this in the morning and I just woke up. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. I'm going to have a new video out soon about the 7.62 MBR. So look out for that and catch you guys on the flip side.